This gross, messy, saucy, greasy looking meal is a bunny chow. It's unhealthy, packed full of carbohydrates and oozing with curry that will send you running to the shitter. A bunny chow is the Durban variation on this national theme. It's, you know, you cut the bread either in half or in a quarter, you hollow it out and you put curry inside. And historically, the first bunnies were probably bean bunnies, but now there are a range of curries that get put inside and they are just magnificent. As a food creation, they're delicious. So where did this terribly delicious street food come from and how did it become such a beloved national dish? The bunny chow comes from the Durban Indian community, although you'll never find them in India. It's very distinctly South African. Oh my bunny chow, more curry on my bread. I love my bunny chow, you want some go ahead. Boing, 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 put the bunny in the belly. There are multiple theories as to where it came from. One theory is that the bunny was birthed at Patel's in Durban's Dr. Yusuf Dudu Street. It was conceived out of necessity. During the apartheid years, black people were prohibited by colonial convention and later apartheid legislation from eating inside Indian restaurants. The bunnies were served out the back door in quarter loaves as they were not allowed to use plates or polystyrene containers. Ooh. Then there's the golf theory. Indian caddies at the Royal Durban Golf Course were unable to get off from work long enough to go get food in town. So, they got their friends to bring their curry from the city. Having no access to takeaway containers, they brought the curry in hollowed out loaves of bread, like a suitcase style dish. The word, I mean the other full word in Durban that we use is bunny char, and that that comes out of banya, that usually comes out of the banya caste, who are the merchant caste who would have been likely to have sold uh, those, those kinds of meals mm. to people, so hence the bunny. And paired with the word chow, an informal word for eat or food, it is also said that the name comes from bun and achar, a spicy Indian pickle relish. No matter how it came to be and where its name comes from, it has a broad fan base beloved by South Africa. It's um, delicious, the flavour is perfect, the taste is perfect, um, the pungentness of it is just awesome. I love it. It's, it's great. Its unique flavor and fusion of styles reflect the cultural shift South African Indians have made from their cousins on the subcontinent. <laughs>